Today I fucked up by showing my collection to the neighborhood. This is a year-long, ongoing fuck-up that I only just realized. So let me back up a bit to last year. Last year we had all the windows in our house replaced for the first time since the 1960s, as new windows promised to better insulate the house from the summer heat. One thing that we noticed and were told about early on, other than the windows' energy-saving capabilities, was that, thanks to the composition of the dual-pane glass or whatever, no one would, should be able to see inside during the day if we have our blinds open. This had so far proven to be true. Well, today while taking the very rare trek outside one realized that this is only mostly true. You, in fact, can see in through the window, up to about a foot. So, the window sill basically, and part of the dresser where the fish tank and cat bed are. Can't see the cat, but you can see the bed. Why I never realized this before is baffling, utterly beyond my comprehension, because you can literally see the blinds when they're closed, of course you can see a ways into the rooms. But I digress. Some more background. I have a small collection of silicone, monster-themed dildos. It's all coming together now, isn't it? My collection is less than some real collectors, but plenty more than you'd think any one person needs. Many of these are glow-in-the-dark or have glow-in-the-dark elements on them. They're also rather large, quite a bit larger than is strictly necessary and they are very pretty emo. I like to look at them a lot. I typically store them in a drawer so as not to traumatize any family or company, but I do like to bring them out sometimes to admire the details, the colors, and especially the glow effects. And when I do bring them out I'll typically keep them out on display for a few hours. Would anyone care to guess where I've been putting my glowy glowy monster ding-dongs for the last year? If you guessed, on the window sill. You would be correct. Oh and, dear reader, have I mentioned yet? That my bedroom window faces the street? Did I bring that up yet? Because my little venture today was to get a barrel of pork skins I'd hidden from myself in the trunk of my car, and as I was digging through said trunk standing on the curb, I happened to glance towards my window and lo there was my blazing neon orange tentacle and ice blue robot Wong, front and center. So crystal clear that I could easily see the glowing white suckers of the tentacle winking at me despite, or possibly because of, my astigmatism. Oh and this is not the worst part, dear readers. You see, I don't live on a normal street, but a cul-de-sac, a court if you will. It's right off a busy freeway so the most vehicular traffic we get is people using our court to make U-turns. Most of our traffic is foot traffic, because a large portion of the neighborhood likes to use our court to walk their dogs specifically because it has little to no traffic at all. So every day we get anywhere from 5 to 20 people walking in front of our house throughout the day, with a perfectly unobstructed view of my window. So now I am forced to realize that an unknown number of my neighbors and countrymen are well aware of my fetish for giant, glowing, neon monster cocks. TLR I've been putting my brightly colored monster dildos on my windowsill for the last year, not realizing that everyone can see them despite having previously thought the windows were essentially one-way glass. The windows are not one-way glass by any means. Don't despair. Own it. Get a fan. So next time the neighbors drive bay, the dicks are waving to them. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen on Reddit. Rolling on the floor laughing I love the way you write. I wish I was your neighbor. Let it glow. Let it glow. One of the speakers for a lecture on human sexuality talked about how she had left a clean, monster-themed sex toy right out on her coffee table, forgot about it, and proceeded to welcome some elderly family members into her home. She played it off as it being an abstract statue. Thus, whenever she had those family members over she'd have to remember to leave her statue somewhere as otherwise they'd ask about it and she was nervous that it would click for them. My deepest sympathies for you accidentally outing yourself as being thirsty for naughty dragons to your neighborhood. Picks or it didn't happen. Hard to imagine. I imagine the tentacle one looks just like a severed tentacle. Maybe they thinks it's some weird abstract art sculpture. Like a severed head on display. Username checks out. Well. Look at it this way now they know what to get you for Christmas.